Hello citizens of the internet and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft building tutorial. My name is Anthony and today we're going to be building this easy desert starter house. This will be a really quick project today. Not only is this simple desert house easy to build and beautiful to look at, it has enough space inside to meet all of your Minecraft needs in early game. So if that sounds good to you, let's get started. All right, let's start this build by framing out the structure with cut sandstone blocks. We'll drop one corner and we're gonna go over seven and place a block down on the eighth block. We're gonna do the same thing again here. Go over seven, one on the eighth block, over seven, one on the eighth block. We should have a nice square like this. Let's come back to the front, switch to smooth sandstone, and we're gonna make a square on the inside corners like this, all the way across. So let's keep on doing this around. Perfect, now let's switch to our spruce planks and build our floor. We'll swing around the front really quick, take out the center block, put another spruce plank down, and we'll put a spruce stair right at the front. Now switching back to smooth sandstone, let's go ahead and build up these corners. One, two, three, four, and we'll do that on every corner. In the front of the house, we'll go ahead and add smooth sandstone up here and on this side as well. And then we'll come across the top like this. So skipping two here, skipping two here, and leaving a gap like this. Then on this side, we're gonna put a block down here, skipping two, put a block there, put a block here, put a block here, skipping two, and putting a block there. Now let's go ahead and do this on the other side as well. Block there, skipping two, block, skip, block, block, skip two, and another block. And on the back, we're gonna put smooth sandstone all the way up on this side, all the way up on this side, right there, and right there, skipping this space in the middle. We're also gonna skip two up, and put a block there, and a block there. So you should have a back structure that looks like this. Now let's go back to the cut sandstone, and we'll fill in some of these gaps. Put one here, one here, one here, two on this side, one up there, two on this side, one there, one there. Now we're gonna do the sides like this, coming up the middle, one on either side, one like that. Now let's finish this side. Switch back to smooth stone. Put one there and one there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and while we're inside like this, put in the door and the fences for the windows. Let's start with the fences and just place them inside each one of these openings. And then a door in the front like this. All right, now we'll use cut sandstone and build up these corners a total of six, including the one on the ground. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now let's go ahead and drop a row of blocks back like this. It can be any block. I'm just using the cut sandstone because it's in my inventory. And we're gonna use this so when we lay down our spruce logs, we have something to lay them against. So starting in this corner, we're gonna add one here, skip one, add one there, skip one, add one there, skip one, and then finally, one on this side. Now let's go ahead and extend these all the way across. Extending out by one. Now let's go around to the back, 
take that out, extend it out by one. There. Now let's go around to the front and we'll fill in those gaps with uh, cut sandstone right there. So it should extend by one right there, right there, and right there. And up here, we'll fill in the rest of this with smooth sandstone. And the gaps in the ceiling, we'll use spruce slabs and put them in like this. Perfect. Now let's finish off the exterior. We'll put a block here, a block here, a block here, and a block here. Let's switch to slabs, spruce slabs, put one in between those two cut sandstone blocks like that and one on this side as well. Then we're going to do our fences, come up two on either side on top of the spruce slab. And now we're going to put a slab on top like that, a slab on top of here like this, and one in the center on the top part of that block. Now when we switch to our spruce stairs, we'll come over and drop an upside down stair facing this direction here and one facing this way here. So we should have a nice design like this. Now we'll switch to our smooth sandstone stairs, put one upside down facing this way, one upside down facing this way, and then smooth slabs straight across the top like this. So you should have a finished look. Now in the corners, we're going to put around the build sandstone stairs sticking out like this and like this. And we're going to do this on every single corner. Then on both sides, we're going to put upside down stairs facing out this way on either side of the logs. And on the other side. After we have the sandstone up across the top like this on both sides, we're going to come in and drop some stairs in. One in the corner facing this direction, one facing this way, and in the center, one facing out. Now we're going to switch to sandstone slabs and fill in this gap in between on each side. Now let's repeat that on the bottom with the slabs on either side like that. But down here we're going to put in sandstone just blocks like that. Now let's do this on the other side as well. There. And finally, we'll repeat a similar design on the back. Now that we have the exterior done, let's go ahead and add some decorations and make the roof spawn proof. First, let's put in some flower pots flanking the door. And we'll go ahead and put some spruce trees in there, like that. We'll switch to our lantern, put one above the door like that. Let's go around to the sides and we'll put a lantern down on this sandstone block here. One hanging down from the top on this side. And finally one, one here on this sandstone block. Now let's spawn proof the roof. If you put slabs down on the bottom part of the, the block like this, no mobs can spawn on this, so you don't have to worry about lighting up the roof. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop down half slabs down over this entire roof. Now that we're done with the exterior, let's go inside and see how I decorated. Right off the bat, I have bunk beds, 
quite easy to do and a great space saver. Just drop down some trap doors, stick a bunk a bed on top, and voila, bunk beds. Plenty of storage, a little brewing station, all of our smelters and smokers, even more storage around, our crafting setup. Most important for the uh, area over here is the stone cutter. Great for making all of these intricate little um, sandstone pieces, an anvil, and a grindstone. Everything you need for starting off in Minecraft. Well, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed this easy to build desert starter home. And if you liked what you've seen and would like to see more, hit that subscribe button. Click on that bell for notifications and leave me a comment or two on things you'd like to see in the future. Until next time, bye for now.